All right, the Cincinnati Cyclones are getting into the holiday spirit as they hit the ice this December. And they're also getting ready to feel the force. Ahead of the new Star Wars movie, <laughs> Everett Fitzhugh is here with the Cyclones. Joins us to talk all about what's going on. Fitz, good to see you, man. Morning, guys. How are we doing? About, hey, this is about the only place you can find ice right now. It's so warm outside. You yes. want to find some ice, yeah. you got to go see the Cyclones. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, uh, we're enjoying life right now. The Cyclones have won three in a row. We're 10 and 5 on the year. We're getting ready to go to Canada for the first time uh, after our game tonight. So we're hoping to uh, get to two more big wins this weekend. Yeah. Well, now, now the, the leaders in your division, uh, they played three more games, I think, uh, than you have. So you got a chance to catch them. Uh, yeah. Too. Yeah. Toledo has always been kind of that white whale for Cincinnati. Yeah. Every year they seem to play them, and every year Toledo always gets them by a game or two. But uh, the Cyclones beat them last week in a pretty good game. We've got them seven more times this year, so plenty of time to get uh, to get the monkey off the back, so to speak. Uh, right. And as much fun as it is to come just watch the guys play and get it done on the ice, you guys always have something up your sleeve in terms of giveaway and promotions, so what's coming up? What's, what's down the road? It's a big month of December for us, kind of unprecedented for the Cyclones. You've got eight home games this month, oh, including wow. six in a row at home starting next Tuesday. We've okay. got Star Wars night. I know your favorite, Bob. Next Friday, uh, we're going to be wearing special jerseys uh, fe uh, featuring Chewbacca. That was from, uh, oh, those from last, last, year's, right? last year's jerseys. We'll have Star Wars characters on the concourse as well. Uh, we've got our holiday pack coming up right now where you can get a Puck Chop Gnome. I actually brought one with me. Yeah. A uh, Puck Chop Gnome and two tickets for $36. I've actually taken probably two or three of these uh, <laughs> for myself right now as it is. So I like, I like fuck chat, yeah, man. I yeah, like, like, <laughs> we've, like we've also got the, the PJ masks coming up here later in the month. We have our winter hat giveaway coming yeah. up later in the month. So a lot of different giveaways, a lot of different games uh, for every budget, for every family. Of course, Dollar Beer Night. Everyone loves Dollar Beer Night. Sure. That's coming up here tonight as well. So it's going to be a pretty good, pretty busy month for us. Uh, I, you know, how important is it uh, – for the clones to have this kind of uh, uh, fan promotion because the fans are behind, behind yeah. you but pretty solidly as it is. So. It's, it's huge for us and I think that when you live in Cincinnati which is such a non-traditional hockey market yeah. Yeah. you want to try and find ways to get folks out and I think of course there's always going to be success on the ice but when you can have success in the stands when you can have those promotions when you can have uh, the community outreach like we do I think it only goes to help make our product even better. Because that's the key right you've, you've got the hardcore clones fans oh, yeah. oh, right yeah. I mean and they're time. serious and they're there and yes. supporting the team all the time and you hear them say why don't we talk about them more? Why don't we do more? And it's about getting the new people into the seats, right? Yeah, and we love our season ticket holders, and those are our, our most dedicated fans, right. the ones who come 36 games, 24 games every single year. But when I can walk around the concourse and see a kid who's going to his first Cyclones yeah. game, or when I can see a family going to their first Cyclones game and say, Mom, we have to come back again, that really makes me happy because it's an effort between not only the players, but the front office, the marketing department, the sales department. And I think if we can do that for people, that makes our job. Uh, ten times better. Yeah, absolutely. And who doesn't love a puck chop? Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. No buddy. problem, guys. All right, it's uh, 8:45. We'll be right back.